Body composition may be analyzed in terms of molecular type e.g., water, protein, connective tissue, fats or lipids, hydroxylapatite in bones, carbohydrates such as glycogen and glucose and DNA. In terms of tissue type, the body may be analyzed into water, fat, muscle, bone, etc. In terms of cell type, the body contains hundreds of different types of cells, but notably, the largest number of cells contained in a human body though not the largest mass of cells are not human cells, but bacteria residing in the normal human gastrointestinal tract. Elements Almost 99% of the mass of the human body is made up of six elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Only about 0.85% is composed of another five elements, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. All eleven are necessary for life. The remaining elements are trace elements, of which more than a dozen are thought on the basis of good evidence to be necessary for life. All of the mass of the trace elements put together less than 10 grams for a human body do not add up to the body mass of magnesium, the least common of the eleven non-trace elements. Other elements Not all elements which are found in the human body in trace quantities play a role in life. Some of these elements are thought to be simple bystander contaminants without function examples, cesium, titanium, while many others are thought to be active toxics, depending on amount cadmium, mercury, radioactives. The possible utility and toxicity of a few elements at levels normally found in the body aluminium is debated. Functions have been proposed for trace amounts of cadmium and lead, although these are almost certainly toxic in amounts very much larger than normally found in the body. There is evidence that arsenic, an element normally considered a toxin in higher amounts, is essential in ultratrace quantities. In mammals such as rats, hamsters, and goats, some elements silicon, boron, nickel, vanadium are probably needed by mammals also, but in far smaller doses. Bromine is used abundantly by some though not all lower organisms, and opportunistically in eosinophils in humans. One study has found bromine to be necessary to collagen IV synthesis in humans. Fluorine is used by a number of plants to manufacture toxins see that element but in humans only functions as a local topical hardening agent in tooth enamel, and not in an essential biological role. Elemental composition list the average 70 kg adult human body contains approximately 7 times 1027 atoms and contains at least detectable traces of 60 chemical elements. About 29 of these elements are thought to play an active positive role in life and health in humans. The relative amounts of each element vary by individual, mainly due to differences in the proportion of fat, muscle and bone in their body. Persons with more fat will have a higher proportion of carbon and a lower proportion of most other elements the proportion of hydrogen will be about the same. The numbers in the table are averages of different numbers reported by different references. The adult human body averages approximately 53% water. This varies substantially by age, sex, and adiposity. In a large sample of adults of all ages and both sexes, the figure for water fraction by weight was found to be 48 plus or minus 6% for females and 58 plus or minus 8% water for males. Water is approximately 11% hydrogen by mass but approximately 67% hydrogen by atomic percent, and these numbers along with the complementary percent numbers for oxygen in water, are the largest contributors to overall mass and atomic composition figures. Because of water content, the human body contains more oxygen by mass than any other element, but more hydrogen by atom fraction than any element. The elements listed below as essential in humans are those listed by the US Food and Drug Administration as essential nutrients, as well as six additional elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen the fundamental building blocks of life on Earth, sulfur essential to all cells, and cobalt a necessary component of vitamin B12. Elements listed as possibly or probably Essential are those cited by the National Research Council United States as beneficial to human health and possibly or probably essential. Asterisk iron equals approximately 3 grams in men, approximately 2.3 grams in women. 
Of the 94 naturally occurring chemical elements, 60 are listed in the table above. Of the remaining 34, it is not known how many occur in the human body. Most of the elements needed for life are relatively common in the Earth's crust. Aluminium, the third most common element in the Earth. S crust after oxygen and silicon serves no function in living cells but is harmful in large amounts transference can bind aluminium periodic table periodic table highlighting dietary elements molecules the composition of the human body is expressed in terms of chemicals Water Proteins, including those of hair, connective tissue, etc. Fats or lipids Hydroxylapatite in bones Carbohydrates such as glycogen and glucose DNA Dissolved inorganic ions such as sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate, phosphate Gases such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, acetaldehyde, formaldehyde, methanethiol. These may be dissolved or present in the gases in the lungs or intestines. Ethane and pentane are produced by oxygen-free radicals. Many other small molecules, such as amino acids, fatty acids, nucleobases, nucleosides, nucleotides, vitamins, cofactors. Free radicals such as superoxide, hydroxyl, and hydroperoxyl, the composition of the human body can be viewed on an atomic and molecular scale as shown in this article. The estimated gross molecular contents of a typical 20 micrometer human cell is as follows. Tissues Body composition can also be expressed in terms of various types of material, such as muscle fat bone and teeth nervous tissue brain and nerves hormones connective tissue body fluids blood lymph urine contents of digestive tract including intestinal gas air and lungs epithelium Composition by cell type There are many species of bacteria and other microorganisms that live on or inside the healthy human body. In fact, 90% of the cells in or on a human body are microbes, by number much less by mass or volume. Some of these symbionts are necessary for our health. Those that neither help nor harm humans are called commensal organisms. See also List of organs of the human body Hydrostatic weighing Dietary element Composition of blood List of human blood components Body composition Abundance of elements in Earth's crust Abundance of the chemical elements References